Hey guys, this is actually the third recording of this review of the Pirate Punch 5-inch frame. Uh, I really, really like it, and that's why I've recorded this three times, because I, I, I want it to work for me. Um, some pros about it, arms are really strong. The stack is 23 millimeters. That means I can use my favorite stack, which is the Axis Flying Argus Pro F7. It is encapsulated in aluminum. It's got some gaskets there. It's IP64, something like that, rated. Dust resistant, water resistant. I put it through water. I'm not dunking it, but it's it's pretty, pretty good. Um, the camera cage seems pretty durable. The bottom plate, love the backbone. This is a lot easier to deal with than the Apex, which the Apex, the problem with the Apex is that you have this little stupid key here, and it's tiny. And if you happen to shear a bolt off and then have to replace an arm at the same time, or if it comes undone, you're fiddle freaking around with these arms while they're wiggling around and the top plate's on, and you gotta slip the key in, it's gotta be perfect, and then you have to end up taking the whole thing apart. Apex is annoying to deal with. I do not like it. I'm actually going to sell all my pieces to it because I don't, I don't want to deal with it anymore. So if this can be better, great. Uh, so far it has replacing an arm, replace, take these two screws out, pop it out, pop the new one in, put them back in. Key's super thick, easy to deal with. You don't need that, all that extra carbon right there. You, you don't need it. There's, it serves no purpose. It's not absorbing anything. That's what the arms and the key are for. If you have a keyless design like the Crafty Quads Freshman, squared off, they all fit together. Perfect. Love this frame. So if this one, the punch can live up to this name, I'm happy. Um, some critiques I have about this frame. It comes with these torque screws. These aren't common in the US as far as I'm aware. I've never had a frame with these torque screws on it. So you don't really have them and you have to use, you know, 48 piece set if you have it to get the screws off if there's any amount of pressure on them. So if you've screwed them on real tight or if the shifted a little bit, it's a pain in the butt to get out. So I've replaced all those screws with regular hex, countersunk, and you know, I would I would just throw the original torque screws away. I don't know, I don't, they're useless to me. Um, so I really like the bottom of the frame. Uh, the stack screws are really easy to get to. They do 20 by 20 or 30 by 30. Unscrew those right there. You don't even need to take any bottom plates off. This is great. Um, didn't come with any TPU mounts or TPU skid plates or skid plates at all. So they were just bare arms. These are printed. I actually modified these to have a little corner on them so they help protect the motor. Didn't come with a skid plate on the front. so that's going to get chewed up. I'd suggest printing a lot of things when you get this frame, if you get this frame. If we put the top plate on, just we're just going to set it on top. It's a little thicker than most frames, which is fine in my opinion. I like a thicker frame. I like them thick. Um, it's, it's completely fine. Uh, they do have the spot for the XT60 to come out. I don't like to do that because if I have a frontal impact, the battery slides forward, you end up pinching this. I I just zip tie it to a post so it has stress relief here and then it doesn't rip out of your ESC. So, bell tip. With that being said, the battery straps are actually really good. I really like these metal pieces. There's no weld on them, so they're one solid piece as far as I can tell. I've actually rotated this around a couple times. The material is runs all the way through instead of stopping and then sewing cheap Velcro parts on it. Now they do sew Velcro on it, but this material goes all the way through. When you have like an HQ prop, great props, shitty battery straps. See here where you have this material go all the way up to here, and then they sew this cheap, crappy Velcro on. It's real bad. Don't even, don't buy, bother with these. Pirate frames though, pretty good battery step and it's metal. And instead of being that plastic one that like newbie drone sends out and they're not as bad as the RDQ ones, please stop doing that RDQ. Race day quads, stop sending battery straps. They're absolutely useless. They're so cheap. 
So battery straps are good. Did come with a lot of prints. I'm surprised. Like it, it came with a few. I had to print skid plate. I had to print arm protection. Um, had to design this, which you know, because the original one just I, I don't use this. It's it's bad. The original mount that it came with for the VTX. It was a. This is a TPU print I printed after the fact, but one of the major cons is it came with this nylon printed or I think it's nylon. I can't really tell if it's printed. It looks like it's got some layer lines. Uh, but this piece mounts to the bottom of your O3 air unit and some other VTXs, but for the O3 air unit specifically, um, it mounts to the bottom like this. And it's just an X configuration. But the problem is you're beholden to the screws and the strength of the screws in the O3 air unit. So if they, if you take a hard impact, it's going to rip those screws out and possibly break your O3. For my, my crash, uh, it did break my O3. It ripped the screws out and then it ripped the cable out. I put it back in, but it's actually, it's a bad unit now. Um, so it ripped it out, unpopped, or popped out the ribbon cable and then just sat there shorted or whatever um, while it was still plugged in on the ground. So that's unfortunate. This this original design, not great. Uh, if you fly cinematic, it'll be fine, but freestyle, I would I would not bother with this. Uh, I talked to the designer of it um, and I gave him some ideas that I had, uh, one of them being um, and I'll kind of, I'll probably just design this and just give it to them or, and also post it on Thingiverse. But when you have an O3 air unit, it's not, the screws are just, they're weak. I've, every air unit I've ever had of the O3, they've, in hard crashes, they will strip out. It's just the fact of the matter. Like, they're super thin. Let me see if I can find one for you. I've been building drones for the last two days, so they are about this thickness here that I can focus. So they're super small. Um, to put it into perspective, the thicker one is an M4. So pretty small. The threads are small. The nature of a crash is you're gonna you're gonna rip those screws out if you crash hard enough. And sometimes people crash hard. So you gotta design around people's flying styles or possible situations. So in this case, what I'll do is I will actually design redesigned this because I think this is okay for the most part um, mounting with one screw e maybe maybe not because it actually comes with a square nut that you pop in here it's got the I got the supports in there right now but so I so you can see it uh, it's got a square hole there and a little square nut fits down there and these little teeth fit in the frame and then you put the screw through there secures it pretty good what I'll do is I will take this and I will actually uh, extend like a bracket up here to go all the way across and a bracket up here all the way across. Doesn't need to support this way because that's what the screws are for. It'll keep it from shaking out too much. Um, but the brackets that'll go on top, anytime it impacts, it won't be able to vibrate that much. It won't be able to, you know, come out or with an impact, it'll you know spread the inertia, what do you say? So I'll design that, I'll give it to the designer and see what they think and if they can do with it what they want. If they don't want to make a change, I'm not saying they won't, but if they don't want to make a change, that's fine. That's their prerogative. So I actually designed this piece right here and I will actually link to the Instagram post with the details about it. But pretty much what it does, um, I have the wrong screws in here, so don't mind this put up right here. Um, what it does is it will, it just wedges in there. This is a screwless system. So you take this out, you run the O3 air units data cable over in the bottom. There's a little cutout. And you put your antenna in here. And what I'll do is I'll put a heat shrink right here. It's a marine heat shrink. It's double walled. So it has that nice little light glue that goes on here and here. Uh, great. I use it on all my quads. In fact, here's one. And this thing is practically immortal. Um, unless you break the TPU, but that's, you know, you can't really do much about that. 
So um, what this does is it sits here and it acts as a wedge. What we'll also do is when your top plate is on it, it further puts pressure here, keeping the air unit in place. This thing ain't going nowhere. If, unless you absolutely destroy the back of your quad and frame and rip it all out, this thing ain't this ain't, thing ain't going nowhere. So you don't have to use it. You can use the original mount, but I wouldn't suggest it. I think the original mount's a problem. All right. Thanks for watching.